Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing a couple of different ways to take experience that you've gathered while playing in the world and convert it into a storage uh, so you can store experience in a location if you're afraid of losing all of your levels should you be killed while out adventuring, um, also allowing you to transfer that experience to other people or into a physical location. Uh, so if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. But most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. Now today's video, I'm actually going to be filming here in a uh, survival world, uh, just so it's easier to see an experience bar. Usually I film in creative just because it makes it easier, but there's really no experience in creative that's visible. So as you can see down at the bottom of my screen, I have 40 experience levels. I've gone ahead and gathered up a little experience just to go ahead and show how this works. Now, there's a couple different things we're going to be using today. First one is going to be an experience pylon. To make an experience pylon, you need two vines, a hopper, two lime dye, a fire charge, two nether brick, and a gold ingot. And that will make you an experience pylon. Next, we're going to be using an XP drain singularity tank. That's going to be one iron bar, one hopper, two eye of ender, and one singularity tank. And the last thing we'll be using is an XP tap, which is one block of obsidian and three iron ingots. So let's show how these work. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with the XP singularity tank. Basically, you're just going to set that down. And if you stand on top of it, you can watch my experience. It's going down. The experience is transferring from me into this tank beneath me. So let's show that a little bit easier here. You can see the XP is just filling up inside of the tank that I'm standing on. Okay. So you hop back off. That process will stop. And now I have experience in this tank. So how do I get it out? There's a couple different options. One is a bucket. If you have a bucket and you just right click on the tank, you will get yourself a bucket of experience. Very easy. Reverse that by putting, clicking again with the bucket. That'll put the experience back in. So if you have a different mode of already um, creating liquid experience, this is a way of taking that experience, putting it into a tank so you can get it back into yourself. Um, so say you're farming it from a mob farm and you have it as an actual liquid experience. You can take it from bucket, put it right back into that tank. How do you get it back in yourself though? That's where we're going to use the XP tap. If you put an XP tap on the side of that tank and you right click on it, the XP will then come out as experience orbs, just like you'd find after killing a mob out in the world. Put that experience back in. Now, as you can see, when I started, I had 40 experience. Now I have 39. You do lose a little bit of experience that way, um, just through the conversion. But you can uh, rinse and repeat, do that as often as you'd like, hopping back on. Popping that back in, got more experience, and I want it back in myself. There we go. So it's an easy way to take experience out of your person and into a physical way. All right. So the second option we're going to look at is an experience pylon. An experience pylon is also very, very handy, especially when building a mob farm. You drop an experience pylon down. It does not need any type of RF source. Neither of these require power. But if you right click on the pylon, you're going to see that right now it has zero experience up to a maximum of 500,000, or sorry, 50,000, wrong number. Um, you can have it where it's always on or requires redstone to work. And you, right now it's on collect orbs. So if I had this and something died near the pylon, it would take those experience orbs uh, from the ground and put them into the experience pylon. You can change that to spray orbs, which will instead spit the orbs back out of the pylon, just like the drain did on the tank. Now, if I want, as you see, I have my experience. If I hit plus 500, that's going to drain experience from me and put it into the pylon. Click on that. So you can see the experience down in the tanks, 25 of 50,000. There's a little bit in there because I didn't have a whole lot of experience on me. This will hold a lot of experience. To take that experience back out and put it back into myself, I just hit the negative 500, and that will put the experience back into me, taking me back to where I was before. So if you have this experience pylon connected to a mob farm and it's gathering all those orbs, you can just come back occasionally, take that experience out of this pylon back into yourself and use it for things such as enchanting, or if you're doing uh, matter overdrive and you're an Android, using that to buy different abilities. Uh, it's a great way to go ahead and set up experience. And you can set up the 
tap and drain as well to a mob farm, but it does take a little bit more work. But both of these are great ways to take experience uh, from out of yourself and store it in a physical location. Uh, say I was playing on a multiplayer server and I wanted someone else to have some of my experience, I could put it into either one of these items and then they could take it back out again. So transferring experience can be very helpful in a shared server. All right. Uh, well, that's going to pretty much do us for this tutorial. Relatively easy one today. Um, if you have any questions about this or any of my other tutorials, please be sure to put those down in the comments, as well as any questions, recommendations you have for other tutorials that you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4. I'm always looking for new ideas. You can also go to my website, onlydraven.com, and there you can submit a direct feedback on the very bottom of the homepage via email. You can also do that anonymously. Uh, you can also find links to all my videos and tutorials, my streaming schedule, as well as links to all my social media accounts and other resources you may find helpful. So I do recommend checking out the website. Uh, but that's going to do us for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.